Hello, welcome back to Design Spec. Today we're going to be talking about issue and revision dates. I'm going to show you how to create issue and revision dates for your project and how you can assign them to certain specs, either manually or in a batch. So let's go into Frankie's. We're brought to the Overview tab. Now this is where you can create the issue and revision dates for your project. The first date you create will be considered an issue date. Subsequent dates will be revision dates. You can see we have an auto assign toggle. Let's just turn that off for now. We'll go over that a little later. So let's add the first date group. You can see there are options to assign a date to specific classifications like contractor furnished, contractor installed, owner furnished, etc. Um, you can use these designations as long as you're okay with going forward in the project, always having revision dates assigned to these certain groups. For maximum flexibility, we recommend that you use all spec types so you can assign your dates however you like. So pick a date from the calendar. You can also type it in. We'll go over these classifications a little later. For now, let's just create the first issue date and assign it to some specs. There's a few ways you can assign an issue date to a spec. You can open the window and assign it manually up here in the corner. Just make sure you hit save. You can also highlight a few items and do a batch edit this way, or you can highlight all the specs in your project and assign a date using this button. You could also use one of the many filters. You can filter by perhaps architectural finishes or by an area. So we can highlight all the main dining specs and assign an issue date this way. Now let's go into the report and see what this looks like. So using these same filters over here, we can highlight main dining and create a full page spec report for that area. So you have the cover page and table of contents. And then you can see here in the corner, the issue date shows up right here. So below this will be revision dates um, once we've created those. So let's go and actually change a spec and then we'll create a revision date to show you that. So we'll go into the spindle chair. You can see it's got the single date right now for the issue date. And let's change the depth and the height. Now we'll go back to the overview tab and create a revision date. This time we'll turn on the auto toggle. This means that changes we make to the spec will automatically be assigned this new date. So we'll pick this date. And we can also choose a classification such as FF&E. So what this means is if you make any changes to a spec that's an FF&E item, then the software will automatically assign this date to that FF&E item. There's also options to select from an area, so if you're changing around some specs in maybe the PDR, you can have um, design spec automatically assign this date to that area. So let's save the FF&E date. And this is handy because you can see um, this date here is when you would have generated an FF&E report, so you have record of it. Go back into the Specs tab and click on that chair. You can see now that it's got that revision date showing up here automatically. You can also click on the History tab to view what changes were made to your specs and when. So with those new changed width and depth, let's go into the report and we'll see what the revision date looks like when it's highlighted. This time we'll do a spec selection for just that one item. Now you can see the revision date shows up in the corner, highlighted in red. You can also see the tag and the name are highlighted in red to alert you that a change has happened to this spec. And here are the dimension changes highlighted. If you go to the settings, 
you'll see there are some options for highlighting these fields. You can choose to highlight only the latest revisions, which means only the changes made since the last issue will be highlighted. Or you can choose to highlight all revisions, which means every revision since this spec was issued will be highlighted in red. You can also turn these off completely so that the, the changes you've made are not highlighted at all. I'll show you what that looks like. So here you can see the revision date still shows up, but the changes we made are not highlighted, they're just noted in black. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any further questions about revisions, please don't hesitate to ask us, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.